Item six on the agenda is a paper on standards of business conduct, including policy for staff and declarations of interest. Bill, I think back to you to introduce the paper for us. Thank you, Chairman. This is part of our good governance as, uh, as a board authority. At the first meeting of the board, um, you agreed standing orders, standing um, financial rules. This now incorporates those but also extends it into policies for uh, staff and that business code of conduct. It's important because we're getting to the stage where we are going to start recruiting people properly onto our books and uh, good governance demands that there's clarity in the contractual relationship and in the way we induct people about our expectations which are properly high. Um, this, th th there isn't anything particularly unusual in this. Mm -hmm. um, it draws on good practice, but I do think it's an important part of our governance. I couldn't agree more. I mean, it's um, important that we don't see it simply as one of those formalities that we adopt as a matter of course. And although it doesn't come as a surprise or contain anything out of the ordinary, uh, it's fundamental to the values of the organisation that we're uh, committed to promoting. Mm -hmm. Hearing? Yeah. Content. Ed, content? Uh, I contend, and I think with my audit committee uh, hat on, Malcolm, I, I suspect you'd expect me to um, be wanting to monitor this and to make sure that we have processes such that um, if there are um, people who want to whistleblow or, or communicate things, that there are channels for that type of process to happen um, through to the board. No, that is a very important aspect. Sure, is it worth noting that the current declarations are available for inspection on the website? Yes. Thank you. Right. Um, a warm approval of that one, Bill.